I want to explain today how we can compute 3D information based on two camera images. So assume you have two cameras which observe a scene, you can compute 3D information about points in the scene that you see with both cameras. That's very similar to what we as humans do with our two eyes. Our two eyes observe the world, sending images to our brain, and our brain does a very good processing of this information and can estimate where are points with respect to us. The same thing we can also do with a stereo camera. So a stereo camera is actually a pair of cameras, two cameras observing the scene, generating images typically at the same point in time. And the main thing we need to know are so-called corresponding points. So things that we see in image number one should also be visible in image number two. And we assume to know which points correspond to each other. And based on this information, we can compute a 3D model. And basically three steps are needed for that. The first thing is we need to estimate the relative orientation of the camera pair. That means we need to know where camera two is with respect to camera one. Sometimes we have that information given, then our life is easier, otherwise we need to estimate that. And we can use techniques such as the eight-point algorithm or the five-point algorithm to compute the so-called essential matrix which encodes us where camera two sits with respect to camera one. So camera one typically defines the reference frame and then we have the second camera um, which describes how this camera oriented and where it is looking to with respect to camera one. And we can get this information purely out of those corresponding points. There's actually a second video explaining a little bit more how that works. Then, once we have that relative orientation, so we know where camera two sits with respect to camera number one, we can perform triangulation. Triangulation means we are virtually shooting rays from the projection center of our two cameras through the image plane, through the pixels of a corresponding point, into the 3D world. And where those rays intersect in the 3D world, there is the point that we want to compute. In reality, however, those rays typically do not intersect. There's noise in the process, we may not be able to nail down our corresponding points precisely, maybe there's an error in the relative orientation of our camera, so those rays in the end will not intersect in the 3D world. So what we do is we basically compute the line connecting those two rays and take the shortest connection between them and then go directly in the middle of this line. And this gives us a pretty good approximation of where this point lies in the 3D world. Mathematically, this can be done very easily with basic geometry. We just need to set up two line equations in 3D and then define a third line connecting those two previous lines and make sure that the third line is orthogonal to the other two ones. And then we basically need to solve a system of linear equations, two equations, two unknowns, and once we solve them, we can compute the 3D location of that point. And we basically repeat this for every corresponding um, point in our camera images. With this, we obtain a 3D model about the world, the so-called photogrammetric model. This photogrammetric model, however, is only defined up to a scale factor. We could basically move the cameras further away from each other, which is equivalent to scaling up and down the scene. And um, as we cannot determine the scale based on the um, five-point or eight-point algorithm, we either need to know that, then we already have the scale, or we need to align the 3D model that we computed, which has a scale ambiguity, and relate it with an external reference frame. So we can relate our 3D model with an external um, reference frame, let's say the GPS frame, for example. And so what we need to know for that is three points in our photogrammetric model, so three points that I've observed in my camera image. For those, I need to know the x, y, z coordinate in the external frame. Once I have that, I can compute a solution to the so-called absolute orientation problem. Also for that, we have another video. And this aligns this photogrammetric model, the 3D point cloud without scale, with an external um, reference system. And as a result of this, provides us a full 3D model in this external frame. So I hope that gave you an idea what needs to be done in order to compute 3D information out of a camera images and helps you to understand those processes a little bit better. Thank you very much for your attention.